Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Check this out. Anybody else with curly hair or like any type of hair struggle with these because I do. But anyways, I'm vlogging again today. Today's gonna be like another fun fall day vlog because I'm making a recipe that I saw. I'm making a recipe that I saw on Pinterest for the crock pot and it's like a super fall recipe so I'm going to the store right now to get that stuff and then still have powder on my nose um and then we're picking up Jose's little cousins they're young and taking them to either the pumpkin patch or apple picking I don't know if apples are still like in season to be picked or not um and then I think I'm gonna carve a pumpkin tonight and I'm gonna vlog it and I'm gonna insert some pictures of my zombie makeup from last night because a lot of you asked me to make a video but I didn't have time to make a video so I'll just show you what my makeup looked like. Okay, I'm back from Kroger. I thought I would sit in the car for a couple extra minutes because Jose is supposedly inside cleaning um, because he had his friends over last night. And so I thought maybe I should just sit in the car for a little bit longer so that I don't have to help clean. Because I cleaned the place from top to bottom yesterday from like 10 in the morning until five o'clock at night. And that, like I get, I kind of get anxiety when we have friends over even though I love having friends over all my friends know that I'm like this I get a little bit of anxiety because I like my place to be spotlessly clean what I end up doing is like pulling my entire apartment apart like everything out of the closets out of the cupboards the cabinets everything um, and then like getting rid of things that I don't want there anymore um, like decluttering and then cleaning and putting everything back sometimes I feel like pull everything apart assess what you have clean get rid of and it gives you such a good feeling when you're done so that's what I did yesterday and I knew that um, it was gonna get messy again last night which it did and we got in late so um, I didn't I certainly wasn't cleaning at 1 a.m. so Jose is doing that right now and I'm buying time by talking to you guys but I'm going to be making a recipe that I found on Pinterest it's crock pot chicken and stuffing and it was like a very short ingredient list and it looked really yummy I thought it might be the kind of recipe that would be good if like you're having a really really low-key Thanksgiving and you don't want to make a turkey but you want to have sort of a Thanksgiving meal or something like that um, and I'm really excited about it so here's what you need for the recipe. <clears throat> for the recipe, green beans, sour cream, cream of chicken soup, two boxes of stuffing, and it said four chicken breasts. I just got these little tiny, um, they're like cut down a little bit. I'm just putting these in the bottom of the crock pot. Now you're going to take your um, stuffing and pour it over top of the raw chicken. I mixed together one cup of sour cream with the large can of cream of chicken soup and I am just going to spoon that on top of the stuffing. Now we're taking our small bag of green beans and you just pour that on top. Last but not least, you pour one cup of water over top and this is just half a cup. My one cup measuring cup is dirty right now. And I am setting this on high for four hours and we will come back to it once it's ready. We are on our way to this farm I think we're gonna pick apples, but I wanna get a pumpkin to carve. And I'm with Jose. Jose, do you wanna be on camera? Nope. Can I put you on camera? Nope. Please? Bye. Hi, Jose. 
<laughs> so, I'll film once we get there. Here, guys. I'm so, I'm like scared. Just let it happen. Let it stick its tongue out. I'll do it. I don't know. She has to do it. She has to do it. Oh. Oh. Teasing it, don't tease it. I just want to see. Oh. Okay, you guys, so here is what it looks like. I stirred it up and the chicken is just shredding on its own in there. Uh, I don't think it even needed to cook for the full four hours, but my chicken breasts were very thin. I actually thought I got tenders, but they were just breasts that had been cut thin. So I have taste tested it and it's really good. Okay, so here are the biscuits and I just need to butter them and we're ready to eat. So I have chip out. It's the next day. I didn't end up filming at the pumpkin patch because we went to the same one that I already showed you guys. But it's raining and getting a little bit chilly here. Tomorrow's supposed to be freezing. Look at the leaves at my apartment. They're so pretty. What's up? Um, this vlog is taking all week long. Time is just escaping me. I am just not having time to do all the things I want to do and I refuse to not make this vlog so um, hopefully you didn't mind the video of the fall foliage. I know that some of you um, live in climates or areas where you don't have fall you don't get to see the fall colors and I have to say that fall in Ohio has been very dull this year because of the warm weather. I think the leaves, normally they would be off the trees by now but they are still hanging on. A lot of trees haven't even changed yet so I don't, maybe we're not at our peak yet but by now we should be so who knows but that was just a little bit of the, you know, leaves in the area. Jose and I go to different parks all the time. So some of that footage is at um, a park and yeah, so I thought I would hop on here today. I'm at work. It's Friday. I am going to carve a pumpkin tonight. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but I will. Um, I'll show you what I come up with. Um, but I thought I would come on here because I am wearing some of the Dollar Tree makeup that I have hauled. So I'm doing a makeup giveaway. I'm going to link that in the video or in the description box below and then... Um, I did swatch some of the makeup like I got myself some and I swatched some of it in the next video um, So I'll link that below too, but today I thought I would wear that makeup. So I'm wearing this palette And I'm wearing this highlighter so I'll show you my eyes I'm not having the greatest makeup day. Oh And there's the the highlight for you too. So this palette is from Dollar Tree. The um, highlighter is from Dollar Tree. Um, and I'll show you what colors. Give you a look at my eyes again. And I'll show you what colors I'm at using. The palette, I have this on my lid. I put concealer on my lid and then put this over it. Um, and I think it's pretty vibrant. I'll show you one more time. And then I have this color on the outer V. This color is not very pigmented at all. You really have to build it up. And even when you continuously build it up, you're not going to get like an opaque 
color but in my opinion I do not like mattes that are super pigmented I feel like I kind of destroy my look right away with when I use a really pigmented matte so overall is this palette worth a dollar absolutely I don't think I will buy it again because it reminds me of another affordable palette that I really do love as for the highlighter I think the highlighter is it's decent um, it's very glittery it's not glittery to the point though that I don't think that there's any occasion that you could use this for like you could definitely wear this out at night or to like a fun party or something um, or if you have better skin than me I feel like maybe you could get away with this um, as your everyday highlighter but you guys remember 90s kids will remember this or parents with 90s kids will remember this Remember when Bath & Body Works had the glitter roller balls and we would put them on our cheeks? Like, that was the original highlighter. This is the Makeup Revolution. Yes, it is completely, like, this is the kind of palette that gets dirty very easily, but it is plastic so you can wipe it off. But this is the palette that reminds me of, of this. They're different, obvious. This color here is very similar to this color here, and this is one of my favorite colors in the palette. Um, and I think that this is maybe like $10 at Ulta and this is like an all season palette. This half is like fall and winter and this half is um, like summer and spring. This is a great transition color. This is a really nice warm cognac color. This is a good transition here. The only thing that this palette is missing is a black, but this palette doesn't have black either. So anyways, I would recommend if you can, you know, if you can splurge a little bit more on this with this huge mirror too, and this is a good mirror, and it comes with a brush that I don't have in here. I like this one a lot better, but I think this is definitely worth a dollar. Maybe I'll show you guys my outfit if I can swing it, because I feel like I have a really cute outfit on today. I tend to kind of like dress up a little bit on Friday because I don't see anybody during the week. I see my boss, but today, today... I'm gonna see Julie, the USPS carrier. I'm gonna see Craig, my UPS carrier. And then I'm gonna see Magali, Alice, and Savannah, the bank tellers at the bank. So I have a wild Friday, you guys, at work. And then after work, it's gonna be even wilder when I carve my pumpkin and probably cook a recipe. But I'll show you my outfit. Sorry, I'm being really extra. So the scarf, I love. I'm wearing like a big oversized sweater that kind of falls off the shoulder. And then my boots, if you can see those. My office is really dingy and dirty because I work for a repair company. And um, the guys come through here um, with like their dirty shoes and stuff. They're on rooftops. They're, you know, whatever. So it gets very dirty. It's hard to keep this place like super clean, but it does need to be vacuumed. Let me show you Chip. He, he comes with me to work every day. Hi, sweet Chippy. Are you mama's little pumpkin? Let's see. Are you mama's little pumpkin? Okay, he's not bothered. Okay, we are getting towards the end of this video. I told you I was going to carve this jack-o'-lantern. The skin was really thick though, so I just did the traditional jack-o'-lantern face. And I traced it out with the new Dollar Tree ornament uh, markers. And that worked really good because it wiped right off when I was done. And I suggest doing it that way, actually. So I'm just using this little Yankee candle. This is honey tangerine or honey clementine. I forget what it's called. But it actually smells pretty good inside the pumpkin. And here's what it looks like in the dark. You're gonna get a little creepy action here. The floating jack-o'-lantern head. And in case you didn't see my fall home decor tour, here's just a little peek of it. I'll link that in the description box below. But I have it dim in here so you can see everything lit up and it's just really cozy it's so cold in ohio right now i'm really enjoying just being inside by the fireplace with the candles lit so, so if you enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope you guys all have a fantastic halloween and i will see you back in my next video bye